John, tell me about the history of the Irish Export Association. The uh, Export Association is 60 years old this year. Um, we were oh, congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. We were established when uh, the economy was really very agricultural, virtually no exporting taking place, and the, um, uh, ex the, the manufacturers at the time were mainly food manufacturers, people like bachelors, uh, uh, peas, uh, uh, they were doing peas then, canned peas, people like that. Um, uh, Crocker Gold is another company who was there around at the time. But they were basically doing things uh, in, the, in the home market, doing a little bit of exporting. Um, so they came together and said, look at guys, um, this home market is very small. Uh, we should really try and sell abroad. But, uh, you know, by the time we get into the market and pay the corporation tax in Ireland, you know, there's not much left for us. So uh, they started the whole process of trying to get the 10% corporation tax they didn't actually call it 10, they just wanted a low cost corporation tax on profits of exports. Uh, so it started that way um, by the, uh, as I said, the organization was formed in the, the early 50s, 51. Yeah. Um, by the time we turned into the 60s, the, the government had actually um, seen the, the benefits in giving low cost uh, corporation tax on export profits. And it, uh, shall we say, moved into history from there because state bodies such as Enterprise Ireland subsequently got set up, IDA subsequently got set up, and they used, particularly the IDA, they used the low corporation tax as a mechanism of getting uh, overseas companies to locate in Ireland on the basis that their export profits would be low. Now, so, the whole corporation tax involved subsequently again, but I may say that was the, uh, the origins uh, of the Irish Exporters Association. So you're claiming... You're responsible for the success of foreign direct investment in, uh, in Ireland. You're the, the, you're the father. Well, we, we, we created the formula, and interestingly enough, we created for indigenous Irish companies, uh, but it subsequently turned out to be a very attractive package for foreign direct uh, uh, investors who wanted to access what we originally created uh, for the indigenous Irish companies. And uh, what we're uh, hoping, obviously, is that coming out of the recession, a lot more of indigenous Irish companies will, in fact, export that they realize that the home market just is too small for them and uh, when a bubble bursts in the home market you know there's an awful lot of other uh, opportunities abroad if they can get out there and shall we say move on to the market the good products and services are selling in the home market they will sell, sell abroad